everyone and welcome back to Duo Wisdom. I'm your host SVG and today we have got with ourselves a portable projector. Yes, you heard that right guys. This is the first for the channel and let me show you the thing itself. Here it is, the ZT East Pro 2 portable projector and guys, yes, you're not being deceived. This is actually, as you can see, a touch display on a portable projector. Now, as far as the company is saying, this is a full Android display so you can basically put all of your movies or whatnot that you want to basically you know project on the go so yeah this is a really good option for you and as far as I think yeah you know so basically let's check out what its projecting capabilities are if you're going to do that before that first we're going to do a proper unboxing of the product to see what this product has to offer guys so yeah without any further ado guys let's get started back to the action all right so right here we've got with ourselves the ZT East Pro 2 so yeah let's open it up guys Alright, so uh, inside first of all we see a pouch uh, which has a ZTE written on top of it. Let's take a look then I guess. Okay, so inside we've got a wire and uh, if I'm not wrong this is the HDMI cable. Moving on, we have this, uh, well, looks like an instruction booklet, just that it's not in the form of a booklet. It's uh, rather proper big size page yeah here it is it's 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 got a lot of text and it's definitely gonna help us a lot in understanding how this thing really works we don't really know much about this for example this gesture here this three finger gesture to turn off and on the projector so we're gonna try that this looks pretty cool so yeah so we're going to do that for now i guess uh first of all we should just take a look at what all is inside this box so yeah obviously here i see the projector itself so before that here we've got these two places as well. These are the these looks like two boxes in which there's supposed to be something inside. So okay, this comes out. That's neat. Okay, so what do we get inside? Looks like a wire, maybe another wire, another HDMI cable, another HDMI cable, maybe. Okay, so here we've we've got another cable. This probably, as far as I think, it's going to be used to charge this projector. But I'm not really sure, but this definitely seems like it. So yeah, that's that. Other than that, we've also got something over here, so we take a look at that. This thing is something like an adapter then. It has to be because of the wires. Okay. So yeah, this is the adapter guys, and here is the place where this wire is supposed to be connected to, and then this is supposed to be connected to any socket. So now we've got with ourselves the projector, the main uh, show stealer today. So yeah, this is really heavy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, it's uh, as you can see here, we've got the projector with us, and this comes in a silver color. So yeah, that's that. The black color that you see is basically the screen. We have something else here as well. Uh, yeah, got it. Okay. Okay, so this is a pin. It's, uh, it's the same kind of pin that you might find in, you know, like your phones uh, to take out the micro SD card or something. So yeah, this is the exact key sort of thing. And I don't really know where it goes in this, uh, probably let's see. Oh yeah, here it is. It goes in these slots, here and here. So these are the two places this key can go to, and this is again for the microSD, and this is for the SIM, because as I've already told you, this is more or less an Android device. Alright, so here we've got the projector itself. So, first of all we take a look at this side. First of all, starting with this port. This here is basically the DC power adapter port where you going to use. This port is the port that you're basically going to be using for charging your projector. The other one is the HDMI port and then this is the, you know, the, this looks like a USB 3.0 port. Other than that, you also got here the headphone jack. Then you've got like this SIM slot as I've already explained and the micro SD for the same purpose as that of the pen drive. So that covers this part. Then you've got here two really well made uh, covered in metal these two volume buttons that's really nice and then you've got this thing that's going to be projecting your films or your videos whatnot on the wall so yeah this is the thing okay so this is the power button guys so let's just see if this thing has any power for showing you how this thing works so yeah let's check it out Alright, so this thing doesn't have any power, so you'll have to first charge it, and then I'll be able to show you what this thing has to offer. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes, and 
uh, we have basically, I basically left it charged for all that time. So let's just see how much charge now it's got. So yeah, let's let's try it out now. So we press it, and uh, there you go. That's the display. All right, now it's possibly because the first time that we are boarding this up, so it's taking that long. Otherwise, it shouldn't really take that long because. Yeah, I mean, it's been roughly a minute now. So still, let's just see how long it takes to boot up. So yeah, now it's giving us the option to choose a language. So basically, it's gonna give you only three options to choose from. So that's kind of like a bummer, but still, I mean, you're okay with English, I guess. So choose English. Then it asks us to add a network. So we are add a network. Alright, so now it's telling us to start now and that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, now that guys is awesome. This is really responsive. It's also got its own set of pre-installed applications including Chrome, uh, Dolphin browser. Why two browsers? It's also got Drive, Gmail, uh, you know, like all the Google applications, Maps. Play Store! Yay! So you can basically play all the freaking games on the Play Store. Which is awesome because this thing has really great specs. Right, so these were the volume buttons, so we can increase the volume like that. And right below this thing, we also see that we've got this flip up stand, which is really amazing if you have to like project it at a level. It's gonna give you the tiny level raise, which is going to help you if you're going to, you know, project something on a wall that's a bit far ahead. So, guys, now we've got some projection at our hands, so. If anything, let's turn off the lights. The display is crystal clear, no doubt about that. I mean, the things that you're seeing on the wall, that's the wallpaper. It's not the fault of uh, the projector in any way. Then if I were to stand over here, you'd basically be able to tell this is the comparison of my hand to the screen. The screen is huge. The screen is at least, I would say, a 70 to 75 inch screen, which definitely could have been bigger if I had a bigger room, that is. This is the projector, and it has been projecting the whole thing on the wall right there. As far as the sound is concerned, the sound is really nice and really loud. I mean, the kind of noise that you would want. Even if you were to like uh, use this uh, projector from a from an angle, it's gonna angle itself correctly. For example, I have the projector in my hand right now, and uh, if I were to basically use, if I were to basically tilt the device like such, it's still not going to be distorted and still going to remain its in its rectangular form. If I were to come back in an instant, it's still going to retain itself in a matter of a second. For example, this. You know, it kind of reads uh, what's the perfect angle for it to be on the wall. So that's really nice because in normal projectors, you have to basically adjust it accordingly, manually, and it's really a hassle. And it's basically saving you all that time. And that's, I think, that is really nice. But anyway, guys, so this is my impression on this, and my impression on this is solid. 10 out of 10, amazing, and I'm really happy that I got this. And I think that you should too because. Even if I say that it's kind of like costlier than the normal you know, projectors on the market that do the same thing but it's definitely a lot 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 better than them and it deserves its price tag. So yeah guys please do make sure to check out this uh, product and it's, it's really amazing guys. So thank you guys for staying till the end of the video. I hope you liked it and if you did please make sure to click on this channel icon right here. While you're at it, please make sure to go down below and click on the bell icon near the subscribe button. It really helps me reach you via my videos. Also, if you like this video by any chance, please make sure to click on these two videos right here and right here. So please guys, make sure to share all my videos. It really helps. And do make sure to check in again guys and so you to take you live. Ah.